Hey, welcome to Girls That Read. I'm Zaya. I'm Chelsea. And today we're going to be talking about Difficult, Difficult Women by Roxanne Gay. Yes, ma'am. In Incredible. Incredible. Uh, We're not even going to fake the funk or <laughs> Incredible wait. good yeah. book. Incredible author. Uh, top notch writing. Yes. The best writing. Yes. That I've read in a long time. Roxane Gay is just an author you need to know in general. Um, she's a black woman of Haitian descent. Uh, she has a PhD in rhetoric. So that right there tells you like. Let's you know. Let's you know what you need to know. What kind of writing style and what level of writing um, she? I don't even know how to explain it. Like, yeah. possesses. Like, I mean, she has clearly high a high level of skill. Yeah, in writing, um, but it doesn't feel. It feels approachable. It, yeah, exactly. Like you don't feel like you're like you know reading out of your textbook yeah, yeah yeah no not at all like she's able to take like complex uh life situations or ideas and and make them approachable and mm -hmm. relatable and easy to read but just the imagery and yes how descriptive well, still she is. expanding your mind Absolutely. and just like the possibilities of what could be done with the written word yeah she's actually one of the she writes also for like marvel and yeah she wrote, she on, wrote um, uh black panther yeah she had a run on black panther yes, yes. yeah so. i don't know if that one's still going with her as a writer mm -hmm. but yes yeah she's like one of the only like one of two only black yes. female writers from marvel yes. like, which is insane um, so you should just look her up and know who she is. Yes. <laughs> um, but about the book, it is like a collection of stories. Um, and they're all, they're fictional, but they're extremely symbolic. Mm -hmm. And um, the stories of these women um, are just insane. Um, the main thing about them is she's writing about women who are difficult by like society standard based on you know how outspoken they are or the career choices that they make or their weaknesses mm -hmm. um etc so in one of these stories probably all of them you can relate to um them in some kind of way yes yeah i and also more to that point i feel like a difficult woman by society's standards is anyone who exists outside of the margins of what womanhood is supposed to look like. For sure. So in one way or another, we're all difficult we're all women. We're difficult. <laughs> Yay! Um, cheers to being difficult. Cheers to being yes. difficult. <laughs> um, there's not really a particular quote. We like to kind of like leave with quotes, but we... For this, the way that it's written, it would be best to leave you guys with what stories yes. really stood out. Honestly, all of them are phenomenal. Phenomenal. But the one in our, our meeting that stood out the most that everybody liked yes. was North Country. Yes. Um, that story, we won't spill the yeah, beans. Yeah, we don't want to spoil it, it for we you. We don't want to spoil it, but it's basically um, just the story of this woman. And um, she meets this guy, and it kind of feels, like, very suspenseful. But in the end, he's actually just, like, a good man. Yeah. Um, and that is shocking, especially <laughs> in today's society. I mean, a lot of the men that the main character encounters in this story are really just, like, representations of every man. They're terrible. Terrible. But Toxic. <laughs> you know. So... It was refreshing. Exactly. That was one of the most refreshing stories in yes. the book was North Country. And it's just, it's just like we said, well written. It's a great storyline. Um, and they're short stories. But that's the other thing that we really like is yes. that they're short, impactful. Yes. Like she puts a lot of information and in, um, in context within these um, stories in a very short amount of time. And Each quite often, you don't want the story to be over by the time it is. Exactly. You want more from it. Yeah, and watching like one of her interviews, she kind of hinted at that story could actually be turned into a movie down the line, and that is something we are truly... So excited about. Yeah, excited about. We hope that it happens, so support Roxanne Gay. We want to make... Yes. We want to see that happen. Um, the other one, 
Do you want to yeah, okay. so sacrifice? One of my favorites was The Sacrifice of Darkness. Um, it's very exciting to see any black author, like, dip their toe into magical realism or sci-fi. Um, because it's just a new perspective to bring to the table. And while this one isn't, like, overly, like, into the magical realism, it's really, like, dipped in it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, the aura of the magical realism is there, but in a very concrete, like, way that feels like it's realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, I really don't want to spoil anything about that story. Know, yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh... All of the stories are just great. There's another one, too, called Baby Arm. Yes. I won't go in, but just read Baby Arm. <laughs> read uh, Baby Arm. We don't want to make this video a, an hour long, because we can talk <laughs> about difficult women all day. Read um, Baby Arm in the way that women are able to hurt each other. <laughs> yes. So any female, like, women out there that, like, um, are into, like, wrestling or, like, fighting mm -hmm. or, like, you would probably appreciate baby arm yes. a lot um but anyway so like we said before every woman is difficult in some kind of way um so we want to know what makes you a difficult woman let us know in the comments below <laughs> subscribe all of that good stuff we're new to this so yes. you know whatever just leave a comment be or something. gentle with us yes be gentle <laughs> um but until then uh happy reading and we'll see you in the happy next one happy reading Yay, bye